Hello Leo, welcome back. This is your intimate extended bonus reading. So if you are a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or any other strong Leo placement, then this reading could very well be for you. If it is, please comment below. And if not, you can always check my channel and your other placements for messages you need to hear. Just remember to take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind as time, energy, and gender are fluid. Reverse roles, however they apply to your story. And please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and tap the notification bell so you can catch future readings. So to my lovely Leo subscribers, thank you so much for your love and support of the channel. I really appreciate you guys so very much. And congratulations on being in the top views for Taurus season. And not only top views, but the number one spot this time around. So again, thank you for your likes, your views, your comments, your subscriptions. Um, it really means a lot to me that you enjoy this content. And if you are a new subscriber, please be sure to check the description box below for all of my social media links and ways to connect with me outside of YouTube, all of my uh, payment app links, my website, and the details that you'll need to purchase a private reading are also listed down below. So before we get into it, as per usual, this is an 18 and up only reading as some of the images in the Manara Erotic Oracle and Casanova Tarot can be extra spicy. So if you're underage, please click off and have a blessed day in the Lord as we do not want any tarot related traumas, okay? But if you are here for the spicy content, please remember to um, take what applies and let the rest fly. Do not force the reading to fit. If it's not your situation, then we will catch you on the flippity flip. And one more thing, you guys, if you enjoy the intimate extended bonus readings, if you like the uh, sexual sensual energy, Energy readings, then I urge you to become a member of the Spicy Subscriber Society, which is my members only area. And again, that link is down below in the description box. So let us see what we are intended to see for the energy of Leo and their person, please. What does spirit want us to know about the overall energy of the connection? Okay, so we have creative intimacy and the temptation of pleasure. So it's very clear that you and this person are wanting to create something new together, okay, in a very intimate way. This could be simply saying that your connection was created in intimacy. And as you can see here, this is not some vulgar picture of, of two people doing the Humpty Dump, okay? This is an image of someone gently, carefully, and considerately painting someone else's skin, their naked body. This is intimacy, this is real, okay? So this could be symbolically saying that you and your person are wanting to paint a new picture in regards to um, maybe the maybe society's acceptance of the two of you together, okay? Wanting to paint a new picture or create a new narrative um, in regards to your connection. We also then have the temptation of pleasure. So there's a very, um, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing someone slowly undressing, okay? Um, again, this is not some sort of rushed or vulgar energy that we're seeing here. It's slow and it's steady. The temptation of pleasure. You and your person are both tempted, I feel, to act on this connection physically, okay? And, and maybe you've actually been holding yourselves back from it, okay? Feeling the desire to connect with one another. Let's get another shuffle from this deck. And dreams of repressed lust. So yeah, you know, the lust, the desire, the the temptation. Like to me, I, I feel like there's a serious holding back here from your person. They're dreaming of you and fantasizing about you. Um, but with this card representing the energy of Capricorn, we have two cards of Capricorn actually. We have this demon looking down, kind of reminding me of the devil card. Okay, so I think that the whole concept of repressing their lust or or holding back their temptations, um, again, could have to do with society in some way. And obviously, everyone's story is going to be different, but 
repressing your love. It's almost like there's so much sexual tension happening here between you and this person. It's impossible to deny, okay? Um, and then bottom of the deck, yeah, again, confirming. That secret, naughty feeling. So there's something taboo happening here between you and this person. For some of you, you and this person would be booed and shamed by society if you were to get together, okay, for various reasons. Um, I, I think that there's um, a very fine line here between wanting to be together with this person and actually making it happen. For some of you, you've actually connected with this person in the physical already, but for some of you, you haven't. Okay, and so there's a, a line I feel like this person and you are dancing on where there's a ton of sexual tension. There's a lot of temptation, okay? But there's this element of needing to repress that, to ignore it, to stuff it down. And I see this image of, of intimacy happening here, creative intimacy. You and your person could be finding new ways to be intimate with one another without having to give in to your physical desires, which in my opinion is even more sexy than, like I said, just doing the old Humpty Dump. This isn't some vulgar um, scene that we're seeing here. This is a scene of trying to create something different and new that is pleasurable without acting on it. So I feel like for a majority of you, this reading is for those of you who haven't connected with this person in the physical yet, or if you have connected with this person, it's been a really long time. Okay. So very, very interesting. I'm going to move right into the tarot and, and not keep going with the Oracle messages. Let's talk specifically about this person. What is on their mind? What are they currently thinking? So we're starting out with the Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. So when I see the Queen of Pentacles, obviously we are talking about Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you could have these placements as well. Um, but I see the Queen of Pentacles as someone kind, nurturing, steady, stable, knows what they want, possibly even a business owner. And again, it doesn't have to be a female to represent the queen energy, okay? So seeing as this is on your person's thoughts, this could be how they're thinking of you, that you are someone who's very stable and secure, someone who knows what they want, who also could be a mother figure, someone very nurturing, kind. Um, but with this eight of swords energy popping up after that, there's a feeling of being stuck between a rock and a hard place, okay? We've got the old uh, judge over here <laughs> looking at Casanova and his maladies, okay? I, I feel almost like this card insinuates that that STDs could be an issue, okay? You can see he's looking, obviously, <laughs> underneath the blanket, okay? He looks like he's in pain. So seeing as Casanova was a freak, we obviously know he slept around. Um, there were issues of that, of that caliber, but seeing as we're talking about your person here, this person is creating a sort of victim mentality in their mind, okay? I, I almost feel like the Eight of Swords is just a mental prison that you stuff yourself in because you're afraid to move things forward. So when I see these two cards together, what this tells me is your person could be very insecure based on your status, based on your ability to, um, to take control in the physical world. And, you know, they could be thinking to themselves, how, how could I possibly move things forward with someone who has all their shit together, right? Maybe your person feels like they don't. Or, Leo, for some of you, this person could be married or you could be married as the Queen of Pentacles does sometimes represent a wife, okay? So if this is a third-party situation for some of you, which could be the reason why you haven't connected with this person in the physical ever or in a while, that could be why they're in this mentality, feeling like they're damned if they do, damned if they don't, really scared to speak their truth, or to make a move based on their circumstances. But again, this is all in their mind. So your person is working themselves up into a frenzy about what is, what isn't, what should, what shouldn't. Like it's all scenarios 
Okay, so again, even though this is an air energy, it makes me think of the qualities of an earth sign, um, specifically Virgo, an overthinker, someone who um, will just continuously present negative information to themselves as reasons to not move things forward, as excuses to stay stuck in place, okay? So let's move on. Let's talk about what they're feeling currently. How does this person feel about you, Leo? Oh my goodness, we got Casanova licking the booty hole, okay? So we have the Seven of Pentacles and then the Four of Swords. So in this person's heart, they know that they've planted seeds with you, Leo. They know that this has been going on. For some of you, this has been going on for a while, okay? And maybe there was a uh, situation where the two of you had a connection and you both have been very patient to see things come into fruition in the physical with the four of swords, this is telling me that they feel that, again, this is their feelings about you, their feelings for you. They could feel as if they broke your heart and you're in need of healing. They could feel as well that you are in a period of healing or surrender in regards to how this person has interacted with you in the past. So in their heart, they could also be healing their own heart if they had to deal with some sort of situation um, that, that hurt them. Again, everyone's situation is gonna be different. But like I said, the Seven of Pentacles is a card of patience, waiting for things to come forward in the physical. In, in this person's heart, they know they know that things are going to end up happening between the two of you. It's only a matter of time, okay? But this person needs to heal first, okay? So let's talk about how they're actually viewing you. What is their opinion of you? How do they see you in the physical world? The Hermit. Interesting. So I almost said Virgo. So Leo, this is the energy of Virgo, which is going within enlightening oneself, remembering the power and wisdom that you have. In general, this could also be you ghosting them or again, not talking to them in general, keeping to yourself. They see you going through a period of enlightenment. Okay. They see you going within. So Leo, if you have kind of closed the door on this person or let this person believe that you don't want to talk to them, then all of these cards up here are just confirming that this person desperately desires to connect with you, not just sexually, but in general, physically, okay? So let's talk about their likely actions moving forward. We have the Two of Swords. Yeah, more of the swords coming through for this person. Their likely actions are continuing to be indecisive, continuing to keep their mouth shut, continuing to um, pretend like no one can truly see their intentions or, or anything like that. But I have a feeling this person has already exposed themselves to where other people are aware, okay? So even though this person might think that they're getting away with something or hiding effectively, it's almost as if other people can see what this person truly wants or what they want to say. Again, ostrich energy, burying their head in the sand for fear of making a decision when their tail feathers are up in the air and everyone can see what's what, okay? Everyone can see what's up. So let's elaborate on that. Let's elaborate on their likely actions moving forward. Oh my goodness. So now we have the strength card. <laughs> we have the strength card and the ace of wands. Literally the disco stick popping up in this person's likely actions moving forward. Sometimes the strength card can be someone holding back or taming their impulses. But what this tells me is that even though your person is intent on keeping their mouth shut, pleading the fifth, whatever it is that they're doing here in this two of swords energy, their impulses are going to overpower that, okay? So no matter how hard they try to keep silent in this scenario, 
their impulses and their sexual drive is pushing them to take control. The strength card is confidence. It's willpower. It's it's literally the energy of the heart chakra, okay? Being completely honest. It's it's a card of loyalty. So this person is loyal to their desires in the end. Okay, that is how they intend to move things forward. They're going to continue to fantasize about this. They're going to continue to push things forward and to gain momentum. This is also just sim simply a card of taking action. As you can see, Casanova is overcoming this woman and about to throw her on the bed, okay? We're talking about this person's secret naughty feelings and repressed lust. This is what this person has been waiting for. It's almost as if they've been keeping quiet and waiting for the right opportunity to ravage your ass, okay? <laughs> So let's move forward and talk about their truest desires. What is it that they want to happen here as an outcome? The Empress. Not even surprised. Okay. The Empress. This person wants their divine feminine. They want, they want the queen of all queens. Okay. Um, I love how she's literally just sitting here like airing out her bush on the edge of the water. Like... You about to fall in, honey. And I think that's what this person wants to do. I think that's their desire. They want to fall into you, Leo. They want to finally take action on these desires. They know who you are and why they desire you. Now they want to take action. That is their desire. What else do we need to see here about the outcome? Yeah, the moon and the five of cups. Yeah, this person has really been hiding their feelings. And it's starting to come to light. The moon signifies secrets, illusions, deep feelings under the surface, and things being illuminated. The five of cups is a card of depression, grief, sadness. But also, I think it's important to note that Casanova is pulling down the pantaloons of this nun, okay, and exposing the truth. This nun has taken a vow, right? Yet she's being exposed here by Casanova. And the truth is, is that this person knows that regardless of how sad and depressing perhaps the separation has been between the two of you, the feelings for you have never subsided. They've always been right there under the surface, okay? This person knows that what they truly desire is a two of cups situation. But we see this need for healing because again, I have a feeling this person has hurt you in the past. Okay? This person has probably given you a reason to not trust them, especially if this is a scenario of, again, separation or um, denial as far as this person is concerned, not wanting to communicate, not wanting to move things forward, being scared, anxious, fearful, all those things. And I have a feeling that's what drove you away, Leo. Okay, And maybe, obviously not all the way away if you're listening to this reading, but since you're showing up as the hermit for how they view you, Obviously, a lot of you have ghosted this person or, again, cut off communication and gone within based on the circumstances, okay? So let's talk about this person's challenge. What is their challenge? The Six of Wands. Their challenge is <laughs> they know what they want in the long run. They know that being with you would be a solid W for them, okay? They know that by moving things forward and taking action, that they could achieve victory here. But their challenge is actually doing it, okay? We have a lot of things going on behind the scenes with this person. Another challenge for them, going back to the whole concept of them perhaps being um, concerned with their image, this is also a card of public recognition. So this person could also be challenged because 
if they were to come out with this, if there was to be forward motion and action movement towards you, then they would be exposed. Okay. So this person's challenge is exposure. They, they don't want to be exposed. They don't want to be looked at or viewed in any sort of negative connotation. And that's why we have the eight of swords. That's why we have the two of swords because they're afraid that their actions or their communications moving forward will potentially make them look bad. Okay. Again, we have this taboo situation going on here and they don't want that. And as, as much as they want to have this connection with you, as much as they know that they've been um, guided, okay, and I say guided because I, as I associate the energy of ancestors, guides, angels behind you in this card of six of wands, helping you and pushing you towards that victory, helping you along on your soul path. This person has been guided towards you. But ironically, it's also their challenge to basically broadcast or, or be with you in the public eye, okay? So, and another thing, as I say public eye, for some of you, this person is in the public eye, which is why this whole thing is happening right now, okay? It's all about this person's image. That is their challenge. Um, what is something going on behind the scenes that we're not aware of, please? The King of Cups, yep. Behind the scenes, this person has so much emotion for you, it's unreal, okay? But they're holding it back. King of Cups doesn't just share his cup with any old body, okay? They save that cup of love for someone who's truly worthy. They've been through things in their life which have caused them, in a sense, to become a little bit cold towards anyone who doesn't match that energy, King of Cups can also indicate that this person has a drinking problem, okay? Seeing as this is going on behind the scenes. But again, that doesn't discount the fact that they have incredible, intense emotion for you. This person loves you, okay? Now, the issue though is no matter how much you love someone, it's, it's kind of irrelevant if you choose not to act on it. If you're just going to love someone from behind the scenes, then... Who wins in that case? And again, that's why we have the challenge as the six of wands, okay? In the past energy, we have the four of cups. So <clears throat> clearly, you, Leo, are the silver lining, the cup coming in from the popcorn cloud, okay? <laughs> this person had their opportunity with you and, and they squandered it. Okay, they had the opportunity to have true love. They saw the cup coming in, your cup. They saw it, but they chose to ignore that and focus on their own issues, their own problems that they're dealing with, things from their past that have caused them to be skeptical of this offer. Okay, the Four of Cups is a skeptical type of a card. In the traditional tarot, you have uh, a gentleman sitting by a tree with his arms crossed, ignoring the cup coming in from the sky, focusing on the spilled cups. So again, something happened to this person in the past that has caused them to be suspicious of someone coming in with true authentic love. And Leo, that is who you are. Your sign is the energy of the heart chakra. Like I said, this is about love. And when this person saw your authentic, true energy, it was impossible for them to resist. Okay. So let's go ahead and move into the clarification here. And, um, and ask, what is it that we need to see about this individual's external situation? Let's elaborate on the why behind their, um, their fear. So we're starting with room. Notice how it's an empty room. Okay. looks very nice, very clean. So when I see room, um, sometimes for me, that could just simply mean that your person has been spending a lot of time alone. Um, they could be in their room, um, just kind of contemplating everything that's been going on. Um, this could also be symbolizing 
since a room is a very isolating concept that this person is is sort of isolated okay or again trapped in some sort of a box that they're trying to overcome let's continue reunion yeah so this person is really wanting to reunite with their true love okay um enemy so okay so now we're talking about what's going on behind the scenes in their external situation this person could have actually um reunited with someone who ended up being an enemy or again dealing with someone who is an enemy in their environment this could be um anyone okay i'll let y'all make your inferences but this person is dealing with people that are not there to protect their best interest okay size yes yeah, so this person similar to that four of cups energy they're bored they're dissatisfied with their circumstances they're sitting here possibly again wanting to reunite with you their true love the one they have feelings for but there's something that's stopping them this enemy card okay we also have waiting yeah size and waiting that's basically what's happening for this person they are i feel in isolation really focused on you um, again, we see all this effort to suppress their desires, okay? So they're dealing with some sort of a situation involving someone who is not on their side, okay? Needing to be patient. Doctor. Um, so they could be having some health issues, okay? They could also be seeing a doctor, a psychiatrist, a therapist to try and get through these um, situations, and then we have joyfulness, which is my three of cups card in this deck. So ultimately this person, I feel their goal is to reunite. Their goal is to um, be in a free and lighthearted energy and celebrate with friends, people that they can trust. But this enemy in, in this whole situation here, this person could be, again, dealing with someone who is um, creating like a narrative about them essentially, or again, if they're worried about their image, this could be someone that they're, they're worried about finding out the truth because they know that they would twist it, turn it, expose them, defame them, destroy their character, okay? Let's see what else we have especially so if your person's in the public eye. And then we have thought, which is like the hermit energy. So your person is also spending a lot of time thinking things through, really trying to get their thoughts together, okay? And again, the whole process of thought, this person is thinking about you. They're fantasizing about you. They're impatient. They've been waiting, okay? But when you have Okay, especially when it comes to your private circle, when you have an enemy in your private circle, oftentimes this enemy is not an overt enemy. Oftentimes this is a covert enemy, someone who presents themselves as a friend or someone that can be trusted, but deep down in this person's gut, okay, maybe even based on evidence, this person does not trust this person okay so the whole like taboo element could be that your person wants to move on but they're stuck in some sort of a dynamic where they're surrounded with a fake friends fake family people who would throw this person under the bus without a second thought and those sort of things are kind of scary, right? I mentioned the word defame, right? We've got this whole Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial going on right now, which I don't know if any of y'all have seen the clown show of Amber Heard and her team, but it was a disaster, okay? The last six weeks has been really intense, all based on someone's false claims of someone else, okay? So imagine how damaging that it could be, right? If someone who knows a lot about you decides to take that information and use it against you, okay? And paint you as some sort of villain. So this person has a lot to deal with. And you know what? Right on the bottom of that, we have widower and we have wife, all right? And I mentioned wife earlier. Um, I'm not gonna make any inferences about the word widower. Y'all can do that yourself. 
Um, but we have this um, energy of a wife, okay? So your person, again, could be married. They could be a wife themselves. But this could also be, God, forgive me for saying this, but your person could also be silently hoping, right, that they could, that they would become a widower, hoping that, that, that the universe will just essentially, like, take care of things, okay? So this person could also be a widower already. Many scenarios are coming to mind, and, and again, I'm not going to go into it, okay? Everyone has their own story, but we then have the sorrow card. So obviously your person is going through a lot behind the scenes, <laughs> many different stories coming to mind, but they need to get through it, okay? Because if they don't, then they'll never be able to reconnect with their true sweetheart, okay? You, Leo. So let's get a little bit of um, energy here from the Island Time Wellness Oracle. Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past. So this person could be keeping an eye on you, watching you. Um, we have coffin, which is about endings, bringing new beginnings, growth, change. Literally, we have coffin laying right on top of widower. Okay, so again, that could be literal for some of you. But for some of you, this could be the metaphorical death or ending of a relationship that's happening behind the scenes. We also have soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, and soul contract. And that could be exactly why all of this is coming into play. Okay, this person could have been going on with their life and you come along, Leo, and they start to realize and have all these memories and, and things of this connection that you share, the soul contract that you share and the reason why you came here. Okay, we also have twin flames, soulmates and twin flames. Interesting. Yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. So this soulmate card could also indicate this previous soul contract that your person had to um, essentially complete um, or find closure within in order to connect with their twin flame. Okay, so regardless of the labels that you resonate with, we have soulmates and twin flames next to each other. So these concepts are obviously important, right? Um, your person could be understanding that while, yes, they have a connection to someone else, um, a soul contract with someone else, that their true twin flame, their true connection, yin yang, spiritual counterpart, is you. We also have the cassette, which is about outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events, and, okay, so again, going back to the Eight of Swords energy, this person is thinking about it over and over and over again to the point of, like, debilitating themselves, okay? Um, and then we have Boat and Seduction. Interesting. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues, and then attracting, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third-party interference. So, again, your person could have been with someone else and felt that seductive energy from you knowing that their desires are pulling them in your direction okay third party interference is confirmation for some of you watching this for some of you you are the third party interference you are the third party to whatever's going on behind the scenes but that doesn't necessarily mean that that discredits you and this person's connection, okay? So I do feel truly like this person is intending on moving on. When I think of the boat, I think of the six of swords, okay? I think of someone who is wanting to heal and move on from their past, finding closure and peace, okay? But again, this stuff that's going on behind the scenes um, could be the whole reason why you've decided to kind of go within in that hermit energy because obviously if you did come into this person's life when they were already experiencing other things then it would be only natural for you to say you know what this is not my business to bow out to um, keep your head down to let things play out 
without getting involved, okay? Um, and you know, they say that Leos are our attention who was and uh, center stage, the stars, but in, when it comes to situations like this, I feel like Leo, your pride has probably <laughs> piped up to tell you that again this is this is your person's battle that they need to go through this is your person's issues and lessons that they need to learn so for those of you who have actually gone into hermit mode good choice okay this person clearly has a lot to deal with behind the scenes and obviously you don't want someone coming forward to you in some sort of a seductive manner and then flitting away like the knight of wands you want someone who's going to be sure about you not someone who's just desperately fighting you know fighting back their temptation to be with you you want to make sure that this person is going to be loyal to you just like you would be to them all right so if you're sitting out this round with your person keeping to yourself minding your damn business then that's a good thing okay so let's look into the messages and what this person wants to say to you And this is the messages from Behind the Mask Oracle by Four of Wands Tarot. And I'll link her below. But we have I Dream About You. And I'm hearing that song. I can dream about you if I can hold you tonight. So this person is definitely longing for you, dreaming about you. Um, as a matter of fact, they're probably going to sleep in hopes of coming into your energy okay there are so many things I want to say to you so they definitely want to communicate what else do they want to say I pretend to be more confident than I am interesting so they're putting on a front right again all about the image the six of wands can also signify pride so um, or again overconfidence in a distorted energy which we saw was their challenge I still fantasize about you. Okay, we were just talking about that as well. I can't control myself around you. So, you know, this person knows that when they're around you, there's nothing they can do to fight back these desires. And we saw that from the very beginning of the reading. I think about you moving on and it scares me. Yeah, again, if this person has pride issues, they definitely don't want to see you move on with someone else, um, which could be why they're desperately trying to take care of things behind the scenes so that they don't lose you. What else do we need to see from this person? I've checked up on you to see what you've been up to. So we got a little page of swords energy popping through. I'm afraid to get close to you. Probably because they know they would be fucking ravaging you, Leo. They wouldn't be able to keep their hands to themselves. What else do we need? Oh, actually, there were ones that flipped over that I didn't see. Interesting. I'm not ready to face you, so I ignore you. Yep. You inspire me to work on myself. And I have fleeting thoughts about you. So clearly this person can't stop thinking about you, fantasizing about you. Um, again, the, the feeling of jealousy arrives thinking about you moving on with someone else. Okay. So hopefully this reading resonated with some of you guys out there. And you know what? I'll give you an extra bonus since y'all were number one. I never stopped loving you. Okay. And we saw that with the King of Cups. Behind the scenes, this person has so much love for you. Now, will they ever admit to it? Will they ever take action on it? Hopefully so, okay? Hopefully they're able to get through this indecisive energy and and follow their heart, follow their desires, okay? So hopefully it resonated. I am, again, so thankful to you guys for all the likes and views. Please comment below if it did resonate. Send me a message. Um, or again, if you feel the need to book a private reading, all those details are down below. Um, and also, you guys, we are in Gemini season, so stay tuned for your next round of Zodiac readings, for your new moon in Gemini reading, and for a mid-month... Oh, 
actually just kidding for your June already. Oh my God. June twin flame soul connection forecast. So I love you guys and I will see you on the next reading. Bye.